All right. So I uh, just started watching NXT. I think I started off at episode 198, I believe it was. And this is a good show. Now, episode 198, um, that was a decent show. 199 pretty much sucked. But 200 was a really good show. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the NXT uh, show. They got much better wrestling than Raw or SmackDown or Main Event or any other of those WWE shows. You know, NXT is like a totally different company, it feels like. Yeah, and the good thing about it is you have guys on the main roster like Cesaro, Kid, Natalia. They bring guys from the main roster who are actually good wrestlers onto that show. So it's very enjoyable. It's a very enjoyable show. So, uh, yeah, that's good. and it's mainly wrestling, too. There's very little promos at all, so I enjoy it. Let's get uh, started off here. NXT 200 review, here we go. Get started off with um, Triple H coming out, cutting a promo, and it, it was good. You know, he was acting like a baby face, which was all right, because, again, this is, like, totally different from Raw. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he interacted with the fans. That's one good thing about NXT. It's almost like an indie show. They interact with mm -hmm. the fans. They actually talk to the fans and uh, acknowledge their chance. So, yeah, like the like he names off a bunch of famous NXT stars. I think he names off uh, Sandow, Wyatt. Um, I don't I don't know if he mentioned the Shield or not, but and then the the crowd starts chanting five five for Biggie Langston. And then, so then he acknowledges a chant and mentions B. Langston. Like, if that happened on uh, Raw, he wouldn't have done that. So, I, I enjoyed his promo here. Um, good way to start off the show. Makes sense. Um, it was only like a five minute promo. It wasn't a boring 15 minute promo. So this was good here. Um, it, it was interesting though, the people he named off though. Like, the first guy he named off was Sandow. Like, Sandow is, really? He's a fucking jobber. Why, why would you include him in that list? You know, it's like, they always brag about how great their NXT is. But look at the top guys in the company right now. Sean Cena, Randy Orton from OVW, and they, and they fucking suck. You know, NXT is, you know, Wade Barrett. That was supposed to be the, the big guy from NXT. And what's he done? Fucking nothing. So... <laughs> I mean, in a way, NXT is or the developmental has gotten better, but in a way, it's failed a lot. You know, especially with Nexus and Wade Barrett, it's supposed to be the next big thing, Wade Barrett, and he's fucking doing a bad news Barrett gimmick, thirty second promos. So, but I enjoyed that promo there. Good promo. It was funny. I tweeted a picture. Some guy had a shovel in the audience. It's fucking hilarious. It's holding it up while Triple H was talking. It's pretty funny. And we get Tyson Kidd and Sami Zayn defeating Leo Kruger, Kruger and Cesaro. It was a good match here. A lot of good spots. It was a cool spot where, like, Kidd was, um, they were going back and forth uh, mm -hmm. between the ropes. And uh, Cesaro caught Tyson Kidd. Or, like, Tyson Kidd jumped in the air to hop over Cesaro's head. And, like, Cesaro caught him. It was a cool spot and gave him a body slam. Or I think it was a backbreaker. Another cool spot where Tyson Kidd did a somersault through the second rope. I didn't even know that was fucking possible. Yeah, but uh, there's some cool spots. But also there was a couple long rust holds in here. So that sort of took away from the match. But overall, it was a good match. I like this Leo Kruger character. He has a really good voice. Um, I, I haven't really watched NXT, so it's hard for me to judge how good these guys actually are. I'm only judging off one or two, ma one or two matches. But, um, yeah, Leo Kruger, he wants to join the Real Americans. Um, it, a, little, a little bit interesting, but it's, it's a little bit stupid because he's obviously not American. So it, it's retarded a little bit. But he has a really good voice. Um, so I saw so, uh, a pretty interesting character there, I guess. So I'll, I'll have to look into that, watch a couple more episodes and see how he actually is. But he looks like he's pretty good. So, yeah, good match there. Then we get Natalia and Emma backstage. A stupid segment. They're talking about, you know, Emma comes in, like, flapping her hands all over the place. And then Emma, you know, they challenge, then they get, like, a dancing match or whatever to, to find out who's number one contender for the NXT championship. Why? I thought this was a fucking wrestling show, not a dancing show. So that, that was just retarded there. 
You know, I'm, I don't know what, <laughs> what what she's fucking doing, flapping her hands all over the fucking place like a fucking retard. But, um, yeah, it was stupid. Um, <laughs> then we get, um, they actually showed a Daniel Bryan video of his match with Jericho on, on his first, uh, first match in WWE, which was a really good match. They showed the spot where he went flying into the announcer table. So yeah, that was cool there. I get what they're trying to do, show the famous NXT stars. So that was good there, right there. Then we get um, Paige defeating Shasha Banks. Pretty shitty match here. Maybe two or three good spots. And you know, I, I got Sasha and um, Summer Rae are the, the BFF. So I forgot what it stands for. The, the, uh, whatever, it stands for something, I forgot. Um, but Summer Rae's hot. She's very hot. Um, and... Uh, Paige is also pretty hot as well. Um, I like how she doesn't wear it. She's like pale. It looks more genuine. Like, it doesn't look like fucking spray tan or whatever. You know, Paige looks more uh, like a real. Like, a lot of the divas nowadays wear a bunch of fucking makeup and spray tans. And it looks fake. So, uh, I like Paige. You know, it doesn't wear any fucking makeup. or She might wear a little bit. But it, it do, definitely doesn't look as much as somebody like Eve Torres used to do. Or the Bellas. Um, so yeah, um, Paige looks pretty good, you know. Good character, I guess. Because she doesn't look like the typical baby face. She's, she like yells all the time. and So, um, you know, I, I could take Paige for it, for the the, um, the the NXT Championship. Uh, she's a decent wrestler. Looks like she has a decent character as well, so... Yeah, but this match was pretty shitty. Shasha Banks, I don't think she's that great. Because I watched Paige and Natalia wrestle a couple weeks ago. They had, a, they had a good match, a really good match. And then you get Paige versus Shasha Banks and you get a shitty match. So, Shasha Banks can't be that great. Um, so, yeah, that was a pretty, shit, pretty shitty match. Then we get a backstage segment with Aiden English. And these two guys I've never really seen before. Again, I just started watching this show. So, a lot of these guys I'm going to have to get familiar with. Um, it was funny when Aiden English was like singing by the wall and the guy walks over to him and he's like, are you trying to put the wall asleep? That was funny. I laughed at that. Um, then Aiden English says one day he will be on Broadway. What? What? <laughs> I thought you were fucking trying to be a professional wrestler. Why are you going to be on Broadway one day? So that didn't make any sense really. So then they make a singing contest. Another fucking singing contest. They made a dancing contest earlier and now a singing contest. I don't know what the fuck they're trying to accomplish here. thought it was a wrestling show. Then we get the Ascension defeating... And my phone keeps fucking going off. Then we get the Ascension defeating the American Pitbulls. There was actually a botch here where the guy almost broke his neck. Then the Pitbulls, uh, they got in a lot of offense. Oh, yeah, I had a little bit of problem with that because I had never heard of these guys. Um, yeah, but... <laughs> I guess it's all right. You know, they're decent wrestlers. I like the tag team finisher that the Ascension uses. It's a pretty good tag team finisher. You know, it's it's basic, but I like when tag teams use their tag team finishers, like a tag team finisher, because they should, because they're a fucking tag team, and they also have good tag team moves. You know, they showed when Hunico and Camacho came out, they had another nice tag team move that they did on the American Pit Bulls. And we get um, let's see here. Neville versus Dallas for the the NXT title. Or was it for the NXT title? I don't know. I think it was. Um, but no one fucking likes Bo Dallas. He's, he's fucking a piece of shit pretty much compared to Adrian Neville. Adrian Neville has talent. So um, let's go through this here. We, there's a cool clothesline spot here where Bo Dallas clothesline Neville and he did like a fucking flip. Um, uh, Neville did a fucking shooting, standing shooting star press. That was pretty shit. Pretty awesome. Um, and then uh, Neville hits Breeze and Tyler Breeze is just laying there for like the whole match. I, I found it a little bit funny. Um, and then Neville misses a corkscrew shooting star press. Dallas covers him because Breeze pulls him out of the way. I don't get it. Why? That, that was a shitty ending. Just he misses his finisher and then he gets covered and that's it. So I, I thought that was a pretty shitty ending. Um, you know... I, you know, the the Lumberjack match. I don't like that idea because it always ends in interference or mayhem or chaos. 
So yeah, um, Neville has a lot of talent. They should just give him the oops. They should just give him the belt. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they get, put the belt on Dallas. He's a pretty shitty wrestler. He's not anything that special. Neville is ten times better than him. Just put the Neville has a lot of talent. But this was a good match, only thanks to Adrian Neville. This guy is a load of talent. This guy is talented than 95% of the raw, the raw roster, the SmackDown roster. Um, so yeah, good match, a good show here. Uh, I, mean, I very much enjoyed this show. They also had Howard Finkel ring announcing. They also made Cesaro and Regal for next week. So yeah, NXT is really good. You know, watch it. All right. Yeah, you know, I bash a lot of things, but NXT is not one of them. So a good match here to finish off the show. And overall, just a a pretty pretty quality uh pretty good quality show. So there you go, people.